guys, what's up? Um, I have a tackle box right here. I got some screws. Don't know why we'd have to nail a screw. I mean, hammer a screw, but I got a nail. A nail? No, this is a hammer. I got some water. I don't know why I got black electric tape. And then I have... This might be a good fire starter. But... We have got a fire ring. Right there, wait. Yep, fire ring. Oh, and I'm gonna go make a perimeter with these rocks. I don't know how I'm going to do this, because I already tried laying the rocks down, and it's pretty freaking hard. Because you got to get them out of the creek, throw them up, and then you have to make a stack like this high. And that's sort of annoying. So I think what we're going to do... Oh, crap. don't know what I was going to do. But... Why don't we leave the fire? Nah, now let's take these rocks out of the fire pit. Don't know why, but just making a stack of rocks. Just trying to make a stack of at least five rocks. Or five. There you go, there's five. That should be high enough. Okay. That's three. Sometimes you just have to put like four. Just like level up the height. That should be good enough. I'm doing this so I know where camp's at. Being on whether I should do that or get a pretty thick log like that big round and just lay them here. You know what? Screw this idea. I'm gonna go get a log. See ya. Well, I just about broke my back. That log right there. That's a bad sucker. That thing's heavy. It's about the right thickness that I want. Then there's that log right there. Yeah, right where my screw it. Yeah, right there. That I want to get. So, be back to you guys soon. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to the length of it. I'm going to put logs on it. But, like, for the width of it, where the doors are going to be, I'm going to put rocks. Because the width is not that wide. So, I'll get the other side done. And then I'll get the rocks, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys. I tried moving this big log up there, but it's too heavy, and it wasn't really that wide. So I found this log right here. Man, it's not that long. It's probably only like eight feet long, but it's not really thick, but whatever. Just got one more to go. So, guys, it's that easy. I had just enough, um rocks to finish the outline. The door is probably two or three feet wide. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Got this. Still don't know what I'm gonna use this for. Oh yeah, got a question for you guys. Do you guys know where my, my brother Kevin is? If you do, comment down below and tell me where he is. Okay hey guys, I paused the video because I had to go get my axe, but I think I'm going to wrap the handle with block. I don't know why, but maybe somebody else has a yellow handled axe just like this one, and maybe they might come out here and lose this. just going to tape it like that. It's probably not going to go as I expected. hope it does though. That's all that you can do. It's just hope. 
might actually look pretty good. It's sort of starting to look pretty good. Whoa. Way better than I expected. Thought it was just going to look like a line of tape. I mean, yeah, it does look like a line of tape. Okay, sort of messed up there. Okay, we're good. We're doing good. We're doing okay, I guess. Okay, this is where I'm starting to mess up. Come on, keep going, you tape. Don't just, like, stop in the middle. Okay, I got to cut this. Yeah, might as well just use my teeth. There we go. Let's wrap the underside, or the back here. Okay, this is how it looks so far, but we're gonna, gonna wrap this part. I suck at this. What have I done to this axe? <laughs> I mean, it started out looking good, but then it just sucked. <laughs> That's how stuff works for me. I think it, I think it's it's probably for everybody else too. It, it freaking I think that it's gonna look great, and then it ends up looking like this. This sucks! Look at this, right here. I mean, it still cuts the same. It still feels the same. I got some with me. I don't know why I have this axe right here. I don't know what I'd have to cut out of the ground. Oh, what do I need? I need, um, gonna... Frick, I didn't bring my paper with me, so now I don't know what I need. I need a table. No, let's make the chairs first. I'll make Two? No, let's make three trees. Well, that was pretty easy. See, I got these pretty thick logs like this. Can I show you guys? Right there, that log. I don't know what kind of log that is, but they're pretty sturdy, but they're very light. Um, I'm seriously... I only got two, though. I'll get rocks put underneath of them, each side, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Okay, I'll try to show you that one. It should be right there. Yeah, you can see it here. Let me put you guys in more. You guys can see that better. Yeah, I got my rock, but I realized that I need another rock because it'll fall down. There we go! How can I sit on it? That's the question. Oh my god. This ain't bad. It's just I gotta fill up some more rocks right there. Because that is not level. 
You know, screw this one. Screw that log. I'm getting another one. I'm not getting another log. I'm getting another couple of rocks. Sometimes. Now let's put it back on. Oh, these bugs are horrible. First thing I gotta do before I get any other tools from Walmart, I'm gonna buy some bug spray. I need that. There we go. Pretty level now, and now there is a hole in my sock. Have a nice day. While you're driving your car, I'm sitting picking. Oh, nice old chair. Okay, well, I'll probably use that chair for a table. Yeah, just. Use my knees. How am I gonna make this table though? Ooh, yeah, good idea. I need a piece of plywood. So, what I'm going to do, what time is this at 12 minutes. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. I lined up the rock formation, I got the chair ready, everything like that. I even got the door all set. What I'm gonna do now. I'm probably going to make the campfire, the ring around the campfire. If you guys didn't watch the beginning, which I don't know how you wouldn't watch the beginning, because this is be this is amazing. That that rock circle that was in the middle, it gone. Disappeared into thin air and it moved itself right here and right there. So I'm gonna go get probably I'm not gonna get that many rocks. I'm probably only gonna get like ten rocks. So, I'll be right back. Whew! That was a big rock. Now we're going to put it in one of these corners. I say right corner. Just because. Maybe left corner. Maybe right here. I don't know. How about we get to the least amount of where stuff's going to catch on fire? I say that corner. No. Oh no, that corner don't really have that much. I'll just go with this corner. We gotta move all this out to a dirt. Maybe these. There we go. It's not that big of a fire pit, but it'll work. I mean. Definitely work. Set that just like that. No, I set like that. Put it on the edge of the foundation. Okay, we got like three more rocks. Yeah, exactly three. That you gotta carry over. I got like the thickest rock I can find. <sighs> okay, I cannot lift that with one hand. I need the two hander. Okay, maybe I can lift it with one hand. Where are you over there? You too. Ah. You see, about seven would do the trick. All you do to make a fire pit is. 
and you don't have to do it. It's just what I do. I um clear off the leaves and stuff till till you reach the dirt, and then pile rocks around it. That's all you gotta do. Hey guys, got the fire pit all set up. See, it's not as big as you think. But yeah, right here is my chair. I'm going to put the table right here. And then, kind of put that box right there that holds all the tools. Like the, S, the axe, the tackle box, all that type of stuff. And, I don't know what else is going to happen. But, I'm going to go to Walmart with like a hundred bucks. And I'm going to see what I can buy there, like an axe, machete, everything like that. But for now, I'm going to try to find all this stuff. I'm going to keep it, like, where I want the crate to be. So, set the axe right there. And then, let's get the hacksaw. And here she is. Nice little hacksaw. Set this right here. Now, this might this is probably going to be a process like once every week. Like, hold on, I'll get back to you guys. It's probably gonna be like a process for maybe once a week. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I ought to bring that chair back up. Don't know why, but... I'll just talk to you guys for like a minute, just like right here. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do... I still need a couple of things down here. Like I need that, that box down there. And then I need... To make a top for it. Then what do I need? I, I gotta drill a hole through it, put a string through it, and then I gotta push a nail maybe halfway through it so that I can hook the lid on so like it wouldn't blow open and animals and stuff could get in there. So I'd go like that and then... I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I don't know how I'm gonna make that table. I sort of have an idea to just stack rocks up in the middle and then I got about a five foot by five five foot by five foot like five foot for the length and five foot for the width of a piece of plywood. Plywood is about that thick. It's not that thick but yeah just in case if any of you guys do not know what plywood is you should. Unless if you're in like kindergarten or first or second grade. Don't you do not need to know about plywood. I mean you can know about plywood that's perfectly fine, but just whatever. And what I'm thinking about going down here is maybe if I have any extra money at Walmart, who knows, maybe I'll just freaking come here and get some go get some bacon and maybe cook some bacon down here or something. I mean on our farm we get eggs all the time and my brother Oh, that stupid mosquito. And he's dead now. And, well, my brother, he gets, he, he used to get about a dozen of eggs a day, which isn't bad. But now he only gets like three, four, or five eggs a day because these stupid rats keep on eating the eggs. And, yeah, so, I mean... Maybe I'll get a, I'll pay him like five bucks for a dozen of eggs. He usually makes people pay two or three bucks for a dozen of eggs, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. But, cause man, I don't know. Maybe I'll go down here and if I catch like a pretty nice sized fish, maybe I'll just, you know, follow instructions on YouTube or Google or something and just make freaking fish, maybe chipmunk, maybe squirrel, who the heck knows what I'm going to do down here. You know, I sort of had a crazy idea. 
Now, I know people are going to say I'm crazy, and I, I know I am. I am a crazy person. But I was thinking about bringing my TV down here. I don't know why. Because then I was thinking about, well, what if it rains? What am I going to do? Huh? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I'm debating on whether or not because I can trim some of them branches. You know, I can have my dad put a ladder up here, the chainsaw them off, because then the sun's just poking right through there, and I can get a magnifying glass, focus it into one little dot, like that big, and then got a fire. First thing I think I'm going to use is probably little sticks, and maybe I'll throw in some of these dry leaves, but I want dry leaves that just like that, just crumble in my hands. I don't want any of these these leaves that are just all stuck together. I want the ones like this. Yeah. Ah, what is in my boot now? I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Maybe but this is the type of sticks that I want. Tomorrow, okay, here, let's focus our, all of our, I'm not focusing about the sun or the sticks anymore or the fire ring. I need to focus on things that I need to put down here. Okay, the crate, I already made the crate. It's about maybe three or four feet long and two feet wide, maybe a foot wide, which is pretty small, but... I'm not going to have that many things down here. Okay, well, and then I just need a, like a, well, we have a ton of, like, different crates that would go on the back of our quads. I'm using one of them, except it does not have a roof, which I'm going to have to unscrew the bottom of one of them, put it on the top, screw it back on, and then poop, uh, drill a little hole the top, put some string through it, tie a knot around it, and then freaking boom. Put it onto that nail that I said that I'd poke it in like freaking halfway in and then freaking I could I could you know do all that. Okay so yeah. Uh I gotta go soon so I'm just gonna talk for right now. But the plywood I what the heck is that? Why would idea would happen? Okay guys, I gotta go. Goodbye.